Willibald Farm, Distillery, Brewery and Restaurant in Air is now one of many distilleries making hand sanitizer in the wake of a shortage due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Head distiller, uh, Nolan Vander Hayden, says things have really um, changed for the business, which has had to adapt and evolve, as have most eat-in restaurants and drinking establishments. He tells us a bit about the operation. My parents still live here. It's a family farm. We grew up here. We've lived here for a long time. But the business itself is coming up on three years old. Uh, started as a distillery. Then we ventured into the restaurant industry, and then most recently a brewery, which we opened last fall. We were very heavily focused on farm-to-table dining, uh, offering you know, a very high-end dining experience in a very unique and casual setting. Um, we have a, a one-acre garden here where we've been growing all of our own produce, and we also work with a local farm, farmer um, behind us, Airside Galloway's, and we raise all our beef here as well for the menu. So we're very much trying to focus on locally grown, locally raised uh, farm to table type dining, focusing on, you know, wood fire pizzas that we have. We have a wood fire pizza oven. So when we first opened the restaurant, all of our cocktails featured Willie Ball gin. Um, that's still the case now. Um, but now we are, all of our draft beers are Willie Ball beer as well, which is really cool. So trying to produce and grow as much as we can to, you know, show, uh, showcase it in the restaurant. The first big change for us was two weeks ago when we were, um, yeah, asked by the provincial government to close the restaurant um, to prevent, you know, the gathering. Um, that came naturally from, from that. Um, so that was difficult um, to do that. Uh, we have a lot of staff that we have on salary and part-time that, you know, we can't provide work for anymore. So that was hard. Uh, we've essentially had to completely pivot, which you'll see a lot of other restaurants have been doing um, lately, uh, offering food takeout as well as beer and spirits to go. Um, so we've been kind of dealing with that for the last two weeks and it's been going pretty well. Um, there has been a lot of local support for that, which has been really good. And we're trying to take it week by week because two weeks ago we were open and look where we are now. You know, every week has been changing so drastically. We're just kind of taking it as a, you know, a one to two week basis, really. Willibald has had to adjust to the changing times after Premier Doug Ford declared a state of emergency for Ontario on March 17th. The distillery then began working towards supplying the air community with a safe and effective sanitizer solution. And last week, offered a sanitizer spray to the public for free on a one per household basis while supplies lasted. Vander Hayden believes locally they can make a difference. So outside of the restaurant now, on the production side of things, uh, we produce ethanol day to day uh, as part of our spirits production. Um, so we are now converting our facility into producing hand sanitizer to A, give back to the community, uh, to whoever you know, can come get some, and then also producing larger format, you know, hand sanitizer for uh, first, first responders, front of line workers, where it's most needed. Uh, our biggest limitation now is acquiring uh, bottles. Um, uh, bottling of any kind is, you know, in, in, in high demand right now. So we hopefully have some more small spray bottles is what we've been using to give away hand sanitizer in, hopefully getting some more this week. And then we'll be distributing that, yeah, hopefully near the end of the week. We'll make an announcement though on Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that, but trying to give away as much as we can uh, week by week and then also doing larger stuff for, you know, first responders and front of line workers. So because we've just started this week, uh, we haven't officially like solidified, you know, partnerships with, with organizations. Um, Langs and AIR will be our first uh, because they're like kind of like the local medical center for the community of AIR. Um, any other organizations from AIR that reach out will obviously um, work with first, hopefully, if we can. Um, and then we'll just keep working, you know, KW, Kitchener, uh, Cambridge areas, and then um, just kind of branch out from there, really. So what's the difference between distilling gin and making hand sanitizer? Vander Hayden is happy to walk us through the process. Gin is um, an ethanol-based beverage. Um, it's potable alcohol that we then distill with botanicals to make it taste like gin. Um, the big difference between that and hand sanitizers, or I guess the, the largest similarity is they both contain ethanol. So we're still producing ethanol over in the distillery, but instead of distilling it with botanicals to make gin, we're blending that ethanol with hydrogen peroxide and glycerin, which are the two other main ingredients in hand sanitizer, to then package into something that will kill bacteria instead of drink as gin. That's the big difference. Willibald is hoping to offer free sanitizer spray once a week to the community, as well as producing larger formats for first responders and frontline healthcare workers he will make that announcement on Facebook and Instagram regarding distribution when the product's available. Samantha Lee for Brent.1.